Drop it. Welcome to part three of Epic Seven's Power Up number three <laughs> okay so this is going to be lengthy but we'll try to keep it as short as possible so this is the equipment this is very important and this game uh, actually uh, the equipment has the most benefit to your characters because there you can equip the characters um, seven types of equipment you have the artifact the helm and uh, the gloves the accessory and then you have the boots, you have the weapon, you have the uh, armor, and yeah, you know, a gauntlet or gloves. Okay, so you have the equipments, and we will take the most important notes. Okay, so the first one, um, you have the artifact. Okay, and the artifact has a special skill or a special attribute, and it sometimes it can only be for a certain type of character or hero. Like for this one, this is a 4 star artifact and it's mage exclusive. Okay, really good. Receive 11 souls at the beginning of this stage. So that's good, so you can easily summon. Okay, so next item, the levels. So you can see the equipments have levels. This one, uh, level 41. It's a 41 hood or helm. And then... A crown so it's a level 27 this is level 41 now the power of an equipment doesn't necessarily add up to its level the important thing are the substats like this one at level 41 it's a uh, attack plus 10 health plus 8 percent so percentage is usually much better than flat stats like attack plus 10 Okay, because in the long run, as you level up your heroes, they get much higher strength or higher attack. So the more percentage you have, the higher the attack is. Okay, so for this one, attack is 140, so times plus 10%. Okay, so that's plus 14. Okay, so... And when it comes to level, okay, so you, you can level up or enhance your equipment. So let's say for this weapon, if I chose enhance, I can. Well, I've used up all my, <laughs> all my equipment. So let's say this one. This is the armor. I can enhance the armor by using other armors or lesser armor charm. The others have. We have the weapon charm. We have the uh, necklace charm. Or yes, the accessories charms. The boots. Okay, so you can level up. This is a sub level. You can see the orange one. It's plus 5 so that means this is a uh, level 41 grade 5 armor so as the higher the grade is the sum stats will increase as well now um, sometimes uh, I think it's every two grade levels you, you add an increase on your stats so let's see here so I have one grade level I'll use everything so let's see how what happens Hopefully we get, there you go, I got a plus 3 critical hit chance, that's very good. And I'm now at, yeah, grade 7. So that's how you enhance the equipment, and that's the same thing for the artifact. Okay, so you use other weapons, so don't sell them, try to use them to enhance your equipment. Um, okay, so you can also see the color, so that's the next item. So that's the rarity, rarity. Okay, it's quite hard to pronounce. It's rare, how rare this equipment is. So this is a heroic equipment. It's purple or violet? I think it's purple. So it's violet. <laughs> no, it's purple. No, it's violet. Oh, wait, it's violet. So it's violet, it means it's a hero, heroic equipment. That means it has better stats than this one. It's just a rare equipment, but still, this is rare. And you have normal items, as you can see from when we try to enhance. So this one is a this one is a heroic. You have the normal ones, the normal normal color. But hopefully, I can see one so I can show you. I think I've used 
them up for enhancement. Oh no, there we go. Uh, so there's heroic, then the blue is rare, the green is good, and normal, that's the pale brownish color. So remember, when you enhance, sometimes the substats increase. The increase of the substat will scale depending on the rarity and you know the grade of the uh, not the grade the rarity of the equipment so if it's rare or heroic the higher the increase should be that's from what i observed okay so those are some of the things now so we have the level we have the grade we have the rarity and you have the enhancement next you have the set items so as you can see there are small icons underneath this one you have the shield and you have like a drop of water it's actually blood because this one is life steal so as you can see here life steal four by four that means four of my equipments are life steal set so i get a 20 percent no 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 go back go back I get 20% of the damage dealt as my health. And I have this one as well. I have the defense set. So defense increased by 15%. So let's see what other we have. This one. Oh, not this one. Aether. So this is my healer. It's important to have good speed. So I have the speed set. You see the icon. You'll get used to it. So it's always better to have a set item with you. Um, as much as possible of course in the beginning you will have problems you know trying to acquire them because they're random but as soon as soon as you get a set I would suggest that you use them and uh, use them by class uh, choose uh, defense or life the one with the heart for defense or tanky characters sorry tanky heroes and use speed for your healers they're really good for healers because you need to heal as much as you can especially in higher levels and then for the attack for the critical i think there's a critical if there's a, for them use them for your attackers okay there are lots of combinations i've seen a lot of them here this one destruction set critical hit damage increases by 40 percent that's really high okay it's 40 percent i think i have an attack no, I have life steal. Uh, this one isn't complete. I only have a heal here. I need one more. Yeah, I need to have this as a life steal, but I don't have an. Uh, we'll get it soon. So that's it. So you have the set items. Okay. So next, uh, so so those are basically the ways you can equip and enhance the equipments or improve the stats of your heroes. Okay. So where do you get these equipments? Um, you can get them everywhere. You can get them mostly from hunts. You can, you know, craft your own. Uh, to craft your own, you can go to the sanctuary. In the sanctuary, if you get, I think we're going to unlock this at a certain level, the steel workshop. So the materials you get, you can craft them here. Although it's difficult at first, it's really difficult. So. You're gonna craft basic 4155 equipment, but for the rest, yeah, it takes a while before you get them, but you will eventually get them. Okay, so you get them from missions, you get them from everywhere in the game, alright? So it's really hard at times, but it's really worth it. Okay, so I would suggest uh, you go with the hunt at first because the items are good and there's a good chance you will get at least good and rare equipments I did get heroic equipments there so I would really vouch for it that you will get some for yourself okay and don't forget uh, some equipments are specific to classes like for mage for knights for tanky for healers okay and that is most especially for artifacts Okay, so that's a pretty lengthy one, but I hope that's very informative and will be able to help you power up your heroes. And of course, the more power you have, the great responsibility, but the more you progress with the game. 
Okay, so again, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let's we'll discover this game more and enjoy playing.